At the beginning of 2022, when the oil price doubled in just a few months, oil producers faced some of the toughest decisions they've had to make in quite a while. Normally, when the oil price rebounds from a low cycle, the production on every well is ramped up to its maximum possible potential. And then all of the capital projects that were put on hold start to become active again. This time though, the long-term viability of capital projects is as uncertain as the long-term demand for fossil fuels. The only choice left is to optimize every oil well to its fullest possible extent as consumer demand reaches new heights around the world. One of the most important tools to do this is artificial intelligence. Last year, McKinsey's State of AI report identified that operators are getting the most benefits of anyone in the oil and gas industry when they use artificial intelligence. Almost all of the survey respondents identified a decrease in costs after deploying artificial intelligence. And over half identified a decrease in cost of more than 20%. It seems pretty obvious that an investment in artificial intelligence is a pretty safe bet. In this video, I'll give you three examples of how artificial intelligence is being used to lower costs. And I'll identify how Cisco enables that artificial intelligence right after this. Let's take a look at three different ways that artificial intelligence is being used to lower costs in oil production. The first way is through predictive analytics. The most popular way to use predictive analytics is in maintenance programs. Historically, all maintenance programs were time-based. After a certain period of time, you would do certain maintenance routines. Over time, as failures began to be tracked on a regular basis, it was interesting to note that only 20% of failures are actually time-based. That means that 80% of the time, time-based maintenance plans were only randomly successful. There is a better way, and that is with artificial intelligence. Patterns of multiple data points, including temperature, vibration, pressure, there are so many data points today that can be measured. And as the patterns develop in those measurements, you can start to predict failures. What maintenance programs have identified is that using this type of pattern recognition and prediction is a lot more effective at predicting when maintenance needs to happen than the time-based plans. This same methodology can be used in a lot of different ways beyond just maintenance programs. They can be used to increase supply chain efficiency. They can identify risk levels for certain scenarios based on the data that's being collected. They can also predict delivery times and quality measurements for dynamic supply chain environments. Of all of the artificial intelligence use cases that are most productive and decrease costs the most, Predictive maintenance has perhaps been the most fruitful, but there are two other ways that artificial intelligence has been incredibly useful and will become even more useful in the future. The second type of artificial intelligence is prescriptive analytics. Once you have all of these predictive patterns identified and you're able to start to put different patterns together and then include data from other systems, including ERP systems, financial systems, and maintenance records, you can combine all of these together to start to identify what it is that workers need to be doing. So when certain patterns emerge across multiple domains and you bring in the data from financial systems and ERP systems, you can start to infer what actions need to be taken. This is called prescriptive analytics. And we're starting to see that emerge in many, many different domains. For instance, 
If you were to identify where there's elevated risk levels, and then you identify that with who is on shift at that time, and what type of dangers exist in that environment uh, in the asset data, you're able to actually marry all of that together and provide some guidance to the supervisors that are on staff at that time. And you can direct that messaging specifically to individuals that are in proximity to where action needs to be taken. That's prescriptive analytics. The third type of analytics is just starting to become more mainstream and coming out of the labs where, where proof of concepts and proof of value were identifying where the most useful places would be. And that is simulation. Sometimes this is called a digital twin. And you can develop a whole graphical user interface so that you can navigate this environment and start to understand how the system responds to different scenarios. This can be really helpful for implementing new changes in the environment ahead of time and see how it's going to respond to these changes. You can also use it for training personnel in rare catastrophic events that obviously you can't put people into for training purposes. The simulation environment gives them a very good indication of how they would respond in these type of rare events so that it starts to become natural for them in the event of some type of rare occurrence. So there are three primary ways that artificial intelligence is used in the industry. First of all, predictive analytics. Second, prescriptive analytics. And then pulling it all together is simulation environments. So how does Cisco help in all of this? Well, there are three ways that I'll identify Cisco's foundational capability to support these kind of analytics efforts. The first way that Cisco enables artificial intelligence is through data acquisition and movement. For reality to be represented in these systems, they need a really good system of various sensors throughout the environment so that the data points can accurately represent what's really happening. That data needs to be acquired at the source where the action actually is, and then it needs to be normalized and moved with integrity across the system so that it securely gets gathered into data systems that can be used to analyze and then also to represent that reality in simulation environments. Cisco has a large industrial portfolio of switches and routers and access points that are capable of acquiring and processing this kind of data at the edge and then transporting that data in a secure way across a whole infrastructure uh, to a data center or a cloud system that's used for analytics or for simulation. Cisco has validated designs that we've tested and proven to operate the way you need for your business requirements. The second way that Cisco helps is through providing secure data integrity. Integrity means trustworthy. Cisco has many security capabilities from network design, anomaly detection, and encryption. And these capabilities are integrated into the switches and routers and access points that I mentioned earlier. Cisco has additional capabilities using purpose-built security appliances and comprehensive software platforms that are used for security delivery. The third way that Cisco helps is through hybrid cloud infrastructure. Some of the AI functions that you need can be done at the edge, such things as normalization and making sure that you're not transporting data that really doesn't need to be transported and doesn't represent any new and useful information. So that function needs to be at the edge. But most analytics functions exist in a data center or in a cloud software platform of some sort. Cisco has a great track record in providing infrastructure for data center environments as well as cloud system environments, whether that means network infrastructure or security infrastructure or performance monitoring type software. There are a lot of different components that come together to give you that data center experience or cloud system experience. Whether it's data center or cloud, Cisco works with it. 
In conclusion, artificial intelligence has many use cases, but they all rely on data. Data is something that Cisco works with every day, whether that's at the edge or in the data center or in some type of a cloud system. Cisco has the infrastructure or performance monitoring that you need, whether it's in the data center or the cloud. Wherever you are on your artificial intelligence journey, Cisco is there to help.